Hi, my name is Joe. I'm an outside service technician for CenturyLink. I'm going to take you through a few tips that could help you restore your service, improve the quality of the service you currently have, or even assist a technician that might be working for you outside your home and not have access inside right now. I'm going to try to keep these tips simple. Uh, if you get a little bit overwhelmed, you can always go back and watch the video again. Ready then? Let's get to it. This tip is on problems with internet speed. Very often we feel our internet speed must be slow when in truth we can receive information plenty fast. It's just that the entity giving us the information can't give it to us fast enough. There's a number of problems you can have throughout your house with interference, things like this, and you can find a lot of videos and instructions online how to test that. I'm specifically going to look at today is the problem with the CenturyLink network and you need to call a technician to solve your problem. There's an easy way to determine what your true speed is. If you look on the back of your modem, there's a sticker, and on that sticker has an admin username and password. Go to a browser window on your computer, and in the browser window type 192.168.0.1, and that'll bring you to a screen that asks for that username and password. Input it, and it'll bring you to this screen. When we're here, come to modem status and click. This gives you a lot of information about your connection. What we're interested in is connection status here. We can see green lights, which are good. And if we look closer underneath these lights, it says line one and line two. Because I have a bonded service, I have two lines. Normal service, you would just have one. Here I see my connection is at 43.2 megabits and change, and line two is at 44. Since I've subscribed to 80, this is well within the parameters of what I need. If you have good service here and matches your subscribe speeds and you're still slow, the problem is going to be elsewhere and not in CenturyLink's network. 